my name is Leon Carpenter. I'm the ambassador with Bung Speed. Um, and we're here demonstrating our shop product. We're running on a Box Technologies machine with four Quadro 6000 cards in it. We're utilizing the new iRay technology for our render engine here. So we have a fully, fully rendered interactive image here in this application. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an understanding of how the whole thing works here. Um, we have a SolidWorks model that was brought in directly from SolidWorks. And once you have the model here within our working environment, everything is very, very easy to use. Everything is drag and drop, copy and paste, um, so that it really simplifies the process, which is what Bunk Speed is all about. So with this model here, being in a fully rendered, immersed environment, I'm also working on a, uh, um, a PQ Labs uh, touchscreen here. I can actually work with it interactively here on the touchscreen. So we can change the angle, we can move it across the other side of the screen, rotate it around so we can see the other side of it. All fully interactive, but yet also fully ray traced at all times. So we can change materials, we can modify any existing material that we have. So I can come in and change the color of that material. And maybe we make that material more of Let's go all the way to red. So now we have a red and yellow example we have here. If I wanted to use a brand new material out of the material library, I can access the library where we have hundreds of different materials to start with. And maybe we wanted this material to be some type of a metal. I could come in and I could find my metal materials. Maybe it's an anodized red, so we'll stick with the red theme here, and we'll just add an anodized red material. So now that material is going to act and behave just as a true anodized material might. So if this lighting isn't working for us, we want to change the lighting and reflections and the feel of our model. We can now just bring in a new, different, a, a different type of environment. So we're working with HDRI lighting here, so all of the lighting is automated for you. And let's just say we want to do something more of, a, of an interior type of idea, so I can grab this hangar environment. We can load a new environment here, and you'll notice all of the lighting and reflections will change once it loads. And there we go. So now all the lighting and reflections feel a little bit different to what we had there. So really it's all just a matter of importing your model, moving it to the portion of the screen that you want, with all of the materials added that you're looking for, with the lighting scenario that you want, and you're ready to make a picture. So you could go from SolidWorks to a finished image in a matter of minutes.